With Liberty.me, I'm Kyle Platt here with Peter Schiff of your Pacific Capital. Hey, Kyle. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. Every year it seems like there are more and more young libertarians everywhere, but here at Freedom Fest in particular, due largely in part to people like Ron Paul, Tom Woods, you and Jeffrey Tucker, who uh, after the big crash were, well before the big crash, were predicting it and telling people about what was going to happen. And now with the, the Ron Paul uh, presidential campaigns from before popularized libertarian ideas. And so my question to you to begin is for these young libertarians, what would you tell them if they were looking for very first investing advice, you know, like the idea that, you know, I want to invest, I'm a young libertarian, but where do I begin? What would you tell them? Well, uh, first of all, a lot of the young libertarians haven't made any money yet, so they don't really, they're not, they're looking at trying to accumulate their sure. wealth before they invest it. Although some of them, though, have been quite entrepreneurial. There are some young libertarians that have already had some kind of uh, monetary success. Some of them got involved in uh, some of the startups. And so there are some people here walking around, uh, 20 somethings, that do have uh, quite a bit of money. Uh, but the important thing is just to uh, do your homework and make sure that you understand what you're investing in and understand why you're buying it, particularly if it's a, if it's a stock. And, uh, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, you know, minefields out there in the investment universe. There's a lot of ways to lose money. And, you know, you don't want to, you know, just you know, lose your money because then you're going to, you know, probably end up uh, not investing. So got to be cautious and work with somebody who knows what they're doing. I mean, hopefully we get a lot of uh, young libertarians opening up accounts with Euro Pacific Capital and uh, Euro Pacific Precious Metals so that we can help them, you know, find the right investments. And sure. You, of course, advocate not sticking with the dollar, sticking with things like precious metals, but there's a lot of new technology out there. Uh, things like cryptocurrencies and um, 3D printing, as well as uh, I think that a lot of people are interested in investing in legalized pot and uh, dispensaries like that. What are your thoughts on some of these new technologies and new investing opportunities? Well, you always have to be cautious. Uh about some of these higher risk ventures. I'm, you know, I don't know, maybe, you know, there'll be some money to be made uh, in, in the pot industry. I mean, I don't know, there's certainly uh, not gonna be a lot of barriers to entry. So there could be a lot of competition. There's still a lot of uh, legal uh, problems associated with those businesses, at least in the United States. I'm not a big fan of the cryptocurrencies. So um, I think there's gonna be a lot more losses. Certainly people that got in early, that got in years ago, are cashing out and uh, they they made 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 a you know good amount of money getting in early. Uh, I don't think I don't think you can, you're getting in early now. Uh, there are people that do believe that it's going to get a lot bigger though, but uh, my gut feeling on it is that's not going to be the case. But look, you know there are um, companies that are on the cutting edge of technology and some of them will succeed and many more of them will fail. Uh, it certainly makes sense to try to participate. You know you know try to diversify into some of these companies but you know we don't we don't just tell people to buy gold I mean I, I tell people that they should own gold they should own some gold uh, but most of the money that that we manage and it's not in gold it's in equities it's in stocks so it, some of it is you know some of these um, you know cutting-edge type companies but the majority of it is uh, you know older established companies that have been around 50 100 years that are providing goods and services that we know are going to be in demand so that we can have some assurance uh, in the longevity of the company and the quality of the dividends that they're able to pay. Because a lot of these other companies that are just starting out, you don't know, you're rolling the dice. You know, we're here in Vegas and people shoot craps. And that's really what it is with a lot of these. You, you mentioned digital, uh, digital printing, very promising technology, but most companies that get involved will probably go bankrupt. But that doesn't mean that they all will. Uh, so you know, you got to figure out you know which companies uh, will succeed in that space, and maybe the ones that end up doing the best haven't even been created yet. You don't know. I mean, look at you know, you look at the example of a Facebook and say, well, you know, well, what happened to MySpace? I mean, they came out and you know, and uh, you know, everybody's searching on Google. But I remember when the internet first started, Google wasn't even one of the first one of the search engines that people used. A lot of the search engines don't even exist anymore. Yahoo still does, but I remember half a dozen other ones that don't even exist anymore. Uh, a lot of them had stocks and they were, you know, they were very valuable at one point, uh, but they, they didn't survive. True, true. 
Of course, you're very famous for having predicted the crash of 2008, the late 2000s. What are your thoughts right now, just quick and dirty thoughts, on where the dollar is going? Well, I think it's going down. I mean, not only is it going to go down against gold, which is clear, but it's going to go down against other fiat currencies. So, um, so you have to be very careful about any investments where your returns are going to be in dollars because you don't really know what the dollar is going to be worth. What is it going to buy you in terms of purchasing power? So unfortunately, I think the dollar has a long way to decline, and that's going to be very unfortunate for Americans that depend on the dollar. I mean, the reason that we enjoy the standard of living that we do today, and of course, it's a lot lower than it used to be, and it's a lot lower than it would be if we were more of a free market economy. But what, you know, what standard of living we still have is, is a, a function of the willingness of the world to take dollars. I mean, we're able to print money and we can use it to buy all the, you know, the goods and, that other people produce that we don't. But that's going to change. And in fact, it's kind of ironic that we're almost hastening the dollar's demise uh, by fining uh, the banks in France or in the UK or in Switzerland or spying on the Germans. I mean, we're really antagonizing a lot of people who we should be sucking up to because we need them to buy our currency. In fact, with the new factor rules that come into play, uh, you know, we're making it you know, a lot more difficult for people to hold dollars. And you know, there are more dollars outside the United States than inside the United States. And we need to keep it that way. Because if those dollars come home, there's nothing to buy. The, you know, prices are going to skyrocket. We need to export our inflation. Uh, but unfortunately, I think it's coming back. Right? All those inflation chickens are going to come home to roost. All the money that we've printed and sent abroad uh, is going to come back. And, uh, and so the dollar is going to lose a lot of value. And you need to be cognizant of that. That's why most of the assets that we invest in at my company are abroad. And we want to own income streams in other currencies, whether it's the New Zealand dollar, the Singapore dollar, the Norwegian krona, the Swiss franc. I mean, there are other currencies that we want to earn, not dollars. Sure, sure. Uh, very great advice as always from Peter Schiff. Thanks so much for joining us. It's such hey, a pleasure. Good luck with uh, Liberty Me. All right, thank you so much.